Hello everyone. So in the previous video, we saw how we can feed our own data into the network and also visualize the intermediate layer outputs as well as the filters. In this video, we'll see how we can visualize the graph of training loss versus the validation loss as well as the training accuracy versus the validation accuracy. This is really helpful when you are training your network as if you can visualize that we'll know when, when to stop the training when the system started to overfit and all. So let's get into it. So this code is uh, same as the previous video. Uh, we are training our own data set of horse, cars and bikes and I've already loaded all this and let me get into it. So once you have the, uh, what to say compiled your model run up to here. The next thing you do is in the previous video this was not there if you remember. Only what is to do is uh, we just do model dot fit and we start training this. But in order to visualize it, we'll assign a variable to it, a hist variable, which means history. And this hist variable will store all the loss and accuracies during training of both validation as well as the training data. So from there, we can plot the graphs and all. Okay. So let me uh, run this command. Yeah. Okay, so it will take some time. Uh, so I'll pause the video and I'll get back to you when the training is complete. So uh, once my training is complete, I, as you can see, while training we have four variables. One is loss, then accuracy. This refers to training loss, training accuracy, and this is the validation loss and the validation accuracy. Okay. So in my case, I have manually splitted the data into training and test and the test data I was using as a validation if you don't want to do it manually you can use this command and so now how we can visualize this how the things are changing as per the number of epochs here there are very less epochs 20 but people when they are training big networks they have more than 1000 epochs or something so what you do is we have four variables and you can see here if you see the hist just type here hist and okay Okay, I think is okay. Maybe this is not the command. I don't remember. Okay, so we'll visualize it later. Now let's see this first. So now what I'll do is I'll give a name training loss as hist dot history of loss. Okay, okay. I think this should be the command. I forgot it. Okay, hist dot history. Let's see if it works out. Yeah, so here's the command. So you can see hist dot history. So it's showing you the accuracy, the 20 accuracy, first epoch, second epoch, and all. This is the training accuracy. Then it's showing the batch size, which we took two. Then it's showing the loss. Okay, 20 lo losses of each epoch, there'll be 20 such losses. And then there's a validation accuracy. And validation loss you can see it okay so there are uh, there are four or six variables i guess of which we are interested in accuracy loss validation accuracy and validation loss so you'll use this command from the hist dot history we'll take the loss from for validation loss we'll take the validation loss for training accuracy we'll take accuracy for validation accuracy we'll take this and the range which will give is number of epoch okay and this is simply a plotting uh, this code is for plotting this graph and you, you can get this code uh, in my blog I'll give you the link below so let me run this first so so you can see here this is the training loss versus validation loss this a blue color is a training loss and this green color I guess is the validation loss so from here you can see how the, uh, the training loss is decreasing then there's a peak Actually, this is not a robust network, so you, you cannot see the graphs going very nicely, like the curves shape going down, and same as the accuracy. So, as per your network, I mean, you can visualize it and you can then change the parameters in order to get a better graph in which the system is learning. So, that's all for this video. Use this code and you can visualize your graph for training loss and even the accuracy. So, that's all. Good luck.